I will say this unequivocally. Thank you all so much for the support and the, um, the love. Um, over, overwhelming at times. For real. Um, super cool to know that uh, we have cultivated that type of relationship with you all. And it really does, at this point, feel like a giant family, you know? Uh, and we truly appreciate it. I'm sure he's going to get his phone back soon and we'll be able to reach out and make his own other statement or comment. So funny, on the way, the last thing he said on the way in was, hey, I can still do stand-up, right? They're going to let me go out and do stand-up, right? And I was like, uh, uh, no, dude. <laughs> you know, you don't get to just, you know. Um, and then as far as the road goes, he will be back when he can come back, you know? And um, and that'll be it. That'll be it. That'll be it. I, I you know, I... Uh, I mean, I don't know why I got to quit all my fun just because he does. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding. But yeah, that'll be it for now, guys. Um, I have definitely, uh, this has definitely aged me a few years. I have definitely cut back on sustenance. Um, haven't been in the gym. Just kind of got to get my shit together here. It's just, one of those times in your life, everybody, and we've all had them, by the way, where it feels like all the bad things are happening at one time. And I feel like greatness is on the other side of that. Um, so thank you for being here and sticking with me and sticking with the family and um, sticking with Jacob. And, uh, you know, he's a good, he's a good, good dude with a great heart. Um, but I had seen him sinking. I had, listen, the amount of times that I talked to him about going to therapy on this podcast, imagine how much I talked to him outside of the podcast. Like, dude, what is going on with you? W what is going on? You could feel it. I could see it. And, um, and you know, we've also talked about no matter how close you are to your kids, I think we've talked about it on, on the show, Jacob and I have definitely talked about it. No matter how much, how close you are to your kids. And I know there are parents who are like, my kids tell me everything. We talk about everything. Nope. You know, think about, even if you were close to your parents, did you tell them everything? You don't fucking tell your parents everything. You don't tell anybody everything. That's it. There are parts of yourself that you hide from everybody. Even yourself. So I had definitely seen him struggling. Um, but I just didn't know to what extent, um, it was happening. So it's at the same time, heartbreaking. I'm so grateful to have caught it when we did before he died, before somebody else died, before, you know, somebody breaks the law, something from my house goes missing. Any of that shit that drug addicts do. You know, super grateful that we caught it early. Super grateful that when Beth and I were like, hey, dude, I bought us tickets. We're hopping on a plane. This is where we're going. He said, okay. Like, he was tired. He was tired of it too, which I'm super grateful for. So that's all. That's the only way I can look at it right now. And I, Incredibly hopeful for him and can't wait to see what's on the other side. And I think that's probably it. Hey, if you like this podcast you just watched, you're going to love the one I'm popping up in your face right now. Check it out.